Oh, thank you. And he's being a ham today, aren't you? Although you're much cuter than a ham. And I would never eat you a scalp potatoes. Uh, anyways, hey guys, sorry I've been absent for a couple days. Been a little bit under the weather, although I'm starting to feel a little bit better today. You know I'm sick when I get new products and I'm not even excited. I don't even unbox them. That's when you know I'm not feeling well. So today I'm feeling a little bit better. So I finally unboxed everything. Uh, the Tatcha's Canvas Primer. I'm most excited to get this one and try it out. But uh, recently there's a lot of new fun products. Volition Beauty's got a couple new. They've got Active Multi-Day Drops and Evening Drops to try out. Paula's Choice obviously had to come up with a new product. And not only just one new one, uh, a couple new ones. Uh, they've got a CBD oil with retinol and then a multibiotic nutrient moisturizer. I don't know, what am I at with Paula's Choice? But It's got to be like four this month, probably next year. Anyway, whatever. Leave a comment if you have thoughts on it. I, you know what I like? I actually do like these, so I was surprised. So anyway, I thought I'd mention that. Oh, the other really exciting new product is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Multi Dual Phase Baku Choice Serum. I'm very excited about that. I actually really like it. It does have a little bit of fragrance in it, but it feels really nice and soft on your skin. And oh, I finally picked up the new It Cosmetics Foundation. I'll try that one of these days. Uh, oh, I've got a ton of Keep Cool products as well. So I thought I'd mention that. Serum, cream, their toner. Their lotion. I've got, I don't know. Anyway, I'll re review those as well soon. So, anyway, I thought I would just do my first use real quick in front of you guys so you guys could get a thought, thoughts on it. But I checked out the ingredient list and uh, it does have a little bit of alcohol in there. Uh, it does have some nice beneficial ingredients in there as well as some silicones. Lincoln, you are being so good. Should I see what Lincoln's first impressions on the fragrance aspect of it is? Let's see. Oh, he's, his interest is peaked. Although he really tends to go for vanilla type scents. So anyway, right now I'm really not wearing much. I just put a little bit of my favorite serum on, the First Aid Beauty Serum, and uh, a little bit of the, what else, what else did I put on? A little bit of Peach and Lily after that. I didn't go crazy today because I don't know, just not feeling up to it. So anyway, so let me just might as well do my first impressions. I do instantly, though, really like the packaging. So we've got a nice little... Let's see how much this mattifies. So I do disagree a little bit with some of the directions because they say to apply this to your face after sunblock. And personally, from what I know, everything that you apply after your sunblock can have the potential to dilute it a little bit. So that's why you try and apply your sunblock as the very last layer or right underneath your foundation. And so it helps kind of prevent that from weakening the effectiveness of it. But anyway, I do like it. It has a little bit of fragrance, the Tatcha signature scent to it, which is, it's never been super bothersome to me because it dissipates pretty quickly. But it would probably be better if it were fragrance-free. But it does give you a nice matte complexion so I'll apply my foundation after this and then uh, maybe I'll leave a note in the comments on how it wore for the rest of the day the rest of very short day since I slept most of it so anyway those are my first impression thoughts hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow sorry guys for the last couple days you know it's bad when I don't even get excited to unbox things so anyway leave a comment if you guys have had a chance to try it or not let me know your thoughts Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much.